Hey guys, thanks for checking out my page. Today I'm actually going to be reacting to Mamamoo Plus because they just dropped a mini album today and I'm going to be reacting to the new title track, Dang Dang. I wasn't originally going to be reacting to them so soon. I wanted to do more Mamamoo first, but since it dropped, I just couldn't help myself. I was really intrigued and wanted to listen to it. So yeah, I'm interested in knowing kind of more about Moon Sun's style, just because I haven't heard or seen anything just between the two of them. In fact, I don't even know how they kind of got started in addition to their solo projects and with the group Mamamoo, how they kind of ventured off and did their own thing. So if you guys have any information about that, I'd love to read more about it. I love getting my information from you guys in the comments below. Um, are the other girls in the group, are we and Awasa okay with it? I'm assuming they would be, just because they do seem like they're very close with each other. But yeah, just let me know in the comments um, kind of how they got started with Mamamoo Plus. I'd be interested in learning more about that. But yeah, let's just jump right into it. I want to see what their style is. Um, I'm assuming they can't be pinned down to one style, just like Mamamoo can't be pinned down to one style. But I want to see what they got. So before we start, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and let's go. Okay, got the captions on. Ooh, I love her braids. Had to throw that out there. She looks good. This is such a fun song. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna be adding this to my playlist later. But I like their little ding and ding. It's cute. It's like a little whisper. Don't play hard to get now. Ooh, a game known only between the two of us, like a secret code. Ooh. I need to look into who wrote this song. Was it just the two of them? 
What, did someone write it for them? I don't know. But overall, the vibe so far is actually not what I was expecting between the two of them. But it, it doesn't mean that, you know, they don't have other, like, hard-hitting rap songs or, like, just out-of-this-world vocals. This seems a little bit more tame and just, like, a cute, like, a cutesy song. And I like it. But now it makes me really curious to know what their other styles are on their other songs. Ah. Uh. Ah, I'm gonna have to be researching them today. Ooh! Hold on. I like that beat. Gotta bring it back. Hold on. It like slowed down. <gasps> Let's go. Okay, that's one thing I want to figure out. Oh, that's one thing I want to figure out is why their album is called Two Rabbits. That was a really cute little insert right at the end. Overall, I actually really enjoyed that song. It wasn't at all what I was expecting. Um, like I said, it was, it was much more tame. It almost was like slower, lighter vocals. Um... But it was, it was fun, and I liked the look and feel and vibe of it. I, I would listen to that. I'm going to add that title, that track, to my playlist. Uh, I don't know how many other songs are actually on their mini-album. I thought it was five or seven. I'm not sure. I'm definitely going to have to go check those out. But yeah, I am very curious about just the two of them, how they kind of got Mama Moo Plus started. Tell me what you guys thought in the comments. Uh, was it what you were expecting? Um, did you enjoy it? I really enjoyed it. So yeah, just let me know if I should react to any other songs from their mini album. Or if I should just, as of right now, jump back in. I have some other things on my lineup for Mama Moo and their solo projects. I'm going to react to the, a lot of their solo debut songs. But yeah, this was really cool. I'm glad this dropped today. I'm gonna go listen to probably some more of their songs right now. So yeah, thanks for watching everybody.